What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. Long time no talk, y'all. Um, this video, I'm just driving on my way back to Charlotte or whatever. But it just, I just have to prop up the camera and talk really fast because I just, stuff in my life right now is going crazy, right? If anybody tried to play with you, this video is for you. If anybody tried to doubt your potential, this video is for you. Y'all, people, like, people gotta watch who they play with. People have to watch who they play with, especially if you guys favor. I ain't gonna lie. I done been on God's toughest uh, soldier list. I done been through so much stuff mentally, physically, like confusion. Like I just been through so much that at the end of the day, I'm still blessed, right? You got to watch when people play with somebody like you because God does not play about you, period. He don't play about you. So anything that the enemy does to try to get you off track, try to knock you down, try to diminish you, try to break you, try to make you feel like you're nothing. At the end of the day, when you pray to God and you talk to God and you follow God, none of that matters. God overpowers all, right? So people literally need to watch who they play with. I'm God's favorite. Like, y'all, there was a season in my life, people been doubting me, they were looking at me crazy, like especially being an entrepreneur, everybody don't understand. I'm a full-time entrepreneur. My life is literally based off faith. I'm not one of those people who just always has a plan or always oh, gonna be like this, this, this. I don't know what it's gonna be. I, I don't know what it's gonna be like. I'm, I feel like I'm in control of my life, yes, but at the end of the day, I still walk by so much faith. It's been times where I've had zero dollars in my bank account and had to pay rent, but guess what? At the end of that month, rent got paid you understand like i'm one of those type of people i've always walked on faith always believed in god always knew that god had my back always knew that god had my back right and because i walk like that and i don't like I, i'm not gonna lie i do get like stressed sometimes and that's something i gotta work on i can't be stressed and worries and you know because god tells us not to worry he got us right it's been times where i've been stressing i've been worried and i've been looking back like why did i even stress about this when i know you know, God has my back. I'm saying this because it's been times where people have, when you're like, I've been in like a season, right? I was in a real bad season. I was in a season where I wanted to give up on myself. I didn't understand my purpose. I didn't understand what I was here to do, right? I really wanted to give up, y'all. Like, it was just like nothing was working. I was mentally just like exhausted, financially exhausted. I was just tired. And I really wanted to throw in the towel so many times, but I've always had that faith and I always leaned and trust on God every time. Every time I was never angry at God, I always talked to God like, I know you have a plan for me. I know that I'm going through this for a reason because they said in order to get the rainbow, you gotta have a rain, right? You can't see that bright rainbow until you get rain though. So I always had that in the back of my mind, like this is not, this is just a season. This is not permanent, right? But I'm saying this to say too, when I was going through that season, I had people around me knocking me, not believing in me, like really judging me off of what I was going through at that time. And now that I'm out of that season, I'm growing, I'm flourishing, I'm financially stable, I'm better than ever. Now they're, they regret it. They want to come back in my life. They want to meet up. They want to get back together. Uh-uh. No. Absolutely not. Listen, you need to be careful who you play with. That's the, like, you need to be careful because the same people that you are knocking down or the same people who, or the same, the same people who you are knocking down may be the same person that's up the next day. Because nothing lasts forever. My life changed in around 30 days. Nothing lasts forever, nothing lasts forever. So it's very important for people to be mindful of how they treat other people. Now, another thing is too, that people will sleep on you. Like I said, people will sleep on you based off the seasons you go through. But I just knew, and this is just me speaking from my experience, I just knew that I was always destined to be something greater. So I knew that I would, I would not be in the same season forever. I was. I work too hard at something and I believe too much 
for me to just not have it. Like, literally, when it comes to anything in my life, I'm delusional. I think I can have it all. Even in my Honda, I see me pulling up in my Tesla. Even in my apartment, I see me pulling up to my house. Even when I'm going through something financially in my bank account, I feel like I could be a millionaire. It's all about the feeling you put into yourself. And that's, I was just, um, you know, watching this video on master manifestation. It's like manifestation is a feeling that we have. You have to envision it in your head and you have to speak it over your life and you have to act like you already have that type of stuff, right? But a lot of people can't do that because we're so focused on the now. Oh, what do I have now? Oh, I don't know if I'm, I don't have this now. You can have it. It's your life. You visualize it, you put the plan in motion, you work towards it, and you just, that's what you do. You know what I'm saying? So it's so many people who doubt themselves and they think they don't got them in them, but I'm here to tell you, you do. Now, I'm not saying this because I'm not the richest, I'm not the most, you know, I'm not the most smartest, you know what I'm saying? I still learn, I still adopt, I still got my own stuff that I'm dealing with. But at the end of the day, I know that this is not my final destination. I know that I'm about to be a millionaire and I claim that over my life. And if you claim that over your life, I need you to put it in the comments. I am a millionaire. I need you to speak that. I am healthy. I am God's favorite. Like, whatever it is, I need you to speak that over your life because it's so important, y'all. And a lot of times we come from situations where people are so used to downing us because they can't do it themselves. So they push that energy out to you and they make, it, they make you feel like you can't do it. So you're always used to hearing negative things. Oh, you can't do that. Oh, that's hard. Oh, that's going to be so much work. Oh, da 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 Like you're so, some people are so used to other people pouring out their insecurities on them that they really believe in their head that it's not possible. And I'm here to tell you it is. Like, that's why it's so important to watch who you're around, watch the circle, your, the company you keep, because if you keep the wrong company, it will ruin your life. Seriously, relationships, friendships, if all of your friends is going out to the club, they're drinking every weekend, they're not interested in elevating their life, what do you think you're gonna be doing? But if you're in a circle that's elevated, they have conferences, they're working on business plans, they're trying to get funding, they're doing like they're doing high level things. Don't you think you're gonna be more obligated to do high level things? Yes, and I, it sounds like, oh no, I, I'm gonna do my own thing, I'm gonna, no. A lot of people follow the crowd and sometimes you don't even realize you're doing it because you're so used to doing it. Like some of my friends, I don't hang with, I have different friend groups for different things for different reasons. Like, yeah girl, you could call me, we can go out, but that's all it's gonna be. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not surrounding myself around you all day. I'm not about to sit around in your face. We're not about to, like, occasionally, okay, cool. But my real circle, nah, nah. Like, you gotta separate yourself like that, right? But I just had to have this little talk because it's so essential. And it's also essential to always sharpen your skills to learn more. You say you want something, you say you wanna be a millionaire, get those high value skills. Get a skill, nobody can take your skills away from you. They can strip that job away from you. They can strip, you know, that pay away from you. They can strip whatever they, but once you create a skill that nobody can take away from you, your creativity, you're like, they can't take that away from you. That's always something that's valuable. You know what I'm saying? So work on, work on bettering your skills, work on bettering your mindset, work on getting around better people and watch your life elevate. Work on speaking, uh, work on speaking highly of yourself. Work on surrounding yourself in different places that you haven't, you know, and how you haven't ever been. Like learn new things, try new things. Like just work on personal growth. And I promise you, your life can change. Change your circle, your life can change. Put good thoughts in your head, life can change. You know what I'm saying? I've had this dream, and not really a dream, but of this vision that I will have, and, I, and I'm one of those people, I can visualize everything in my head. Like, I'm just like a superhero, I don't know. Like, I can vision, I can vision everything in my head. I had a vision that I'm in a nice house. Now, mind you, it's not all materialistic. Let me just say this. 
everything is not materialistic but I feel like what I want the most is the feeling like the feeling to understand like wow I made it I worked so hard for this I could get I could afford the nice things I could do whatever I want with my life like that's what I'm craving it's not really a materialistic thing it's the feeling of being in a position where I don't have to want for nothing like I've made it to a level that I'm comfortable at now I ain't got to be a riches I ain't got to be the most billionaire but I could, I'm, I'm, I'm set you know so I see this vision I see me in my nice dream car my nice dream house coming home to my husband and my kid like I see that for myself and I visualize that in my head all day it's like it's not it, it, it's at the point where it's just gonna be impossible if it don't happen now I'm putting this video <laughs> so y'all can come back to it and y'all can see my personal growth because in a couple years oh baby watch everything that I said in this video is gonna happen this is me manifesting it now so y'all everything that I just said in this video is going to happen right but I'm just telling y'all Keep your faith in God. Know what you want over your life. Speak valuable things. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, change your circle and just watch your life transform. Learn different skills. And even if you need to stop doing certain stuff to lock in on your goals, do that. Lock in for at least six months, bro. At least six months. At least, that's at least. I locked in on my craft at seven months. I made 40, over $40,000 in three months after locking in, after not making nothing. So I know that consistency and really speaking highly over your life and really putting in the work and really trusting God works, bro. Cause I did it. I wouldn't tell y'all nothing I wouldn't do. So that's why I had to make this car talk video for you guys and just let you know that you just, it's, it's, it's possible. It's possible. Speak that you a millionaire. Like I look a mess coming to y'all. I don't care. Okay. I just had to, I just had to say this because it was on my heart. Okay. Speak valuable things. Speak highly of yourself. Affirm positive things. Stop saying you broke. Stop saying you can't. Right? Like them are words we don't resonate with anymore. Okay. Claim that you're going to be a millionaire. Claim that you're going to have everything. Claim that you're going to have a closer relationship with God and really put in the work, bro, and watch your life change. If you like this video, please go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe. You know what I'm saying? Let me know your thoughts, your comments, your goals, whatever you want to talk about in the comments, let me know. All right? I wish y'all a great day, and I'll see y'all later. Bye, friends. Now I'm catching this, baby.